Hey guys, this is Bill Weatherholt with a thought for this week. I wanted to do this outside. It is just way too pretty to be indoors. It's a beautiful fall day in East Tennessee. So you may hear dogs and birds and cars and who knows what else, but we'll give it a try. So this thought comes from the book of Nehemiah. Uh, this one really, well, like all my devotions, are intended to speak to me because uh, I need a lot of help. Uh, but this thought is one that uh, I really love this verse that I'm going to mention in verse uh, in chapter 2 when I get there. But I do want to set the stage before I get there. So glasses so I can read. But I'm going to start in uh, chapter 1 to give you kind of some context. Of course, Nehemiah uh, was in a town called Shushan. I probably pronounced that wrong, but it was about 800 miles from Jerusalem. Uh, so he was exiled uh, in, in this town, uh, way away from, uh, from his home, hometown. Uh, and I'm going to start reading in verse 2, and I'll cover some of these uh, verses as we go through. Uh, it says that Hanani, one of, the bre one of my brethren, came, and he and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity and concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, the remnant, how you like that? The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem is also broken down and the gates thereof are burned with fire. I mean, Jerusalem was in a mess. And then Nehemiah goes on in uh, verse four, so it came to pass when I heard these words, I sat down and wept and mourned certain days. So he was really sad about it. Uh, won't read this, but verses 5 through 11 are a, just a really sincere prayer that Nehemiah prayed after he heard this and just asking God for help with this situation. Verse 11 ends with, a, with just one sentence. It says, For I was the king's cupbearer. So my take on that is that you know, he had the job when the king was about to drink wine that he had to taste it. He was the taste tester, I guess. So I guess if he keeled over, the king didn't drink the wine, but if it was okay, then he drank it. So in chapter two, it starts out, uh, it came to pass in the month of Nisan, the 20th year of Artaxerus, I guess, uh, the king, that the wine was before him. And I took up the wine and gave it to the king. Now I had not been before him, before time sad in his presence. Therefore the king asked unto me, Why is thy countenance sad, seeing that thou art not sick? Is there nothing else but sorrow of heart? Then I was very sore afraid, and, and said to the king, Let the king live forever. Why should not my countenance be sad when the city of the place of my father's sepultures, sepultures lieth waste, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire? Verse 4 is what I'm going to refer to here. Uh, the, then the king said unto me, For what dost thou make request? So I prayed unto the God of heaven. And then verse 5, And then I said to the king, and he then he goes on and makes his request. But let me go back to verse 4, because this, this is great stuff here. Uh, the last part of that, uh, when the king says, You know, what do you want? And Nehemiah says, So I prayed to the God of heaven. So he took, I mean, I don't know how long he had, maybe it's just a few seconds to pray and ask God's help for what he's about to, to ask and what he's about to do. Uh, and that spoke to me. Uh, it uh, spoke to me before when I read it, but it spoke to me again when I read it this time. Uh, how many times, you know, whether it be at home or at work or wherever, when we're about to enter into a, a difficult situation, uh, how many times do we stop and, and just pray. Uh, now, think about this. Now, he didn't have but just a few seconds. You know, what do you think he said? Uh, I don't know what he said, but you know what I would have said, and what I would say now, is that God help me. Yeah, it's simple prayer. Now, big question, do you think God hears little prayers like that? Well, of course he does. He hears all prayers. Uh, but especially one that, you know, where you're in just dire straits and you need his help. So God help me. So when we're facing some kind of difficult situation, decision, or whatever we're in, into, you know, maybe we don't have long to prayer. Maybe we don't have time for a long, flowery type prayer, like, oh, omnipotent and wonderful Heavenly Father. Uh, 
we just need we just need help right then and so we could just ask you know God help me God take care of this or just just one quick sentence so that you know God knows that we're relying on him to, to help us and I know that God answers that I think he honors that if we take the time uh, just even if it's a short prayer uh, we can follow up with a longer prayer later uh, hopefully a prayer of Thanksgiving that he helped us through it but uh, that's the thought I want to leave with with you men uh, take the time when you're facing something uh, to just ask God for his help and direction and there goes a dog barking so uh, in any case that's what I want to leave with you so uh, think about that when you face your situations and uh, I'll uh, close in a quick prayer uh, it mattered a uh, pattern after Nehemiah God thank you Lord for this day uh, Lord I ask you to help us through everything that we face help us to remember you and pray to you at all times even if it's quick in Jesus name we pray amen thank you guys and I hope you have a great weekend